Hello and welcome to Zone Tool Tip, Tips and Tricks series. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Trestle Builder that I, I, I compiled for you guys and how to uh, use the data that you already have for campaigns and products that you've been already running on your old setup and use the data to fill in uh, what we need to know within the Trestle Builder and to get out uh, as an output, the tracer that you should uh, input in the new PGN that you are about to create, or the tracer that you should input in the in the same old setup campaign that you want to automate based on your historic data. So, uh, first of all, let's uh, uh, let's talk about the product. So, for this example, we're going to use our experimental account, and I have a generic silicon product. Uh, let's say that we are selling, so, okay, so the form is here, so once you click here, click here to download, you will be taken to, to the Google Sheet page. Now, this page is not editable, so you cannot edit and you cannot request access to it. So what you should do over here, you should go up here on file and you can choose either to uh, download this as an Excel file and keep it on your um, computer, or you can choose to import it in your Google Drive. Either of those will work uh, just fine. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this one. So again, going back to our uh, generic silicon products, let's give this product a sales price of uh, let's say that we're selling it for uh, let me see so, so i'm gonna go silicon product and i'm gonna open uh, the customer short term report over here so i'm gonna do right click open a new tab and this is what i'm presented with i will sort down by acos descending which i already done just to speed up the video and what i can see is that this product in this example uh seems like selling for uh, 47.99 roughly all right so i'm gonna just yes i'm gonna just give uh, this exact data so this is one sale of the same skill we are advertising so 47.99 so you're selling this for the 47.99 you're gonna go here and put 47.99 the profit margin um since this is a fictitious product, I will say that the profit margin is uh, 50%. So you put 50 over there. You don't include the percentage symbol. Uh, PPC profit expected. This is a profit that you expect out of uh, uh, this PPC campaign, this PGN or this your current setup. So if you are running uh, this campaign for traffic and visibility, I would put zero. If you are running this campaign for profit, I will put how much profit you expect after all PPC spent. So let's say that you want 10% profit after you paid for all PPC and everything, you will put 10 over here. But in this case, um, I'd like to run this campaign for uh, visibility and traffic. So I don't expect any profit. I simply want to have as much traffic, as much visibility as possible at break even. So I put zero. Average cost per click. In order to fill in this uh, box, I'm gonna go and check our search term report, and I'm gonna scroll all the way down, and I know that the average cost per click will be 0 0.96 is written down here. Okay, so we're gonna have an average cost per click. We currently have an average cost per click of 0 0.96. And then we have an average conversion rate, which is also data that I can get from here, which is the seven day conversion rate is this one, which is 11.9, 11.9. And then the average bid, in order to check the average bid, I cannot check it on the, I can check it on my um, search term report. I need to go on the keyword report. So. Again, I go on my campaign silicon products. I'm going to open the keyword report in a new tab. 
here you are. I'm gonna sort by, in this case, I'm gonna sort by uh, orders. I'm gonna check the, uh, the bid of the keyword that generated the most orders at top. Let me check very quickly if the uh, uh, cost per click is online. Yes, it's 96. Okay, so as you see, we don't really have many keywords. So what you wanna do over here, over here, sorry, you want to put the average bid of, of the highest volume keyword you have. Okay, so for this example, I'm gonna take the top menu we have here, the only one we're selling. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna choose the top five just to keep it easy. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six keywords. All right, so what I wanna do, I wanna find the average bid over six keywords, which is, I'm gonna add all the maps. So the first one is 2.02 plus 1.62 plus 1.42 plus 1.77 plus 1.17 plus 1.27. And then I divide by six. So my average bid is 1.54. Go back here and average bid 1. Point, how much did they say? 54. Okay, and then my goal sales per day. So you want to generate at least the same sales that your old campaign was generating. So you go back to your old campaign and you check how many sales you generate this is the last six months, so assuming that this is your last six months period, we generated uh, over seven days 27,000 sales. Again, this is fictitious tissue data. So I will take 27,000 and I will divide it by six months, which is a period I'm looking at, divided six, and then I will divide it again by 30 because I need the daily amount. 30, which is 150. So I want to generate 150 sales a day. So I'm going to put 150. Detergents, I will cover that one later. Okay, so right now, up to this point, I show you how to select the thresholds based on your historic data. Okay, now the next part, well, the next step will be to select what keyword you want to take from your old campaign and bring it to your new PGN in case you are doing this on a, for creating a PGN. So uh, this exercise will be done not on the keywords level, but I will do it on the custom search terms report. So we have the custom search term report of the Silicon product campaign over here. What I do, what I already did is I um, solve them descending by um, ACOS 7 and I will salvage. So we know that our profit margin 50%. So our ACOS target right here is 50%. So I will salvage, first of all, only and all the keywords or search terms that have been historically performing within my threshold, which is many of them okay many 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 of them for the purpose of this video i'm not gonna use all of them i'm gonna just go all the way up and select uh, let me think what i can do um, i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna sort them down uh, just for the purpose of this uh, video i'm gonna just because i don't want to use like fry and keywords I'm going to sort them down by sales volume, seven. And, okay. And I have, okay. And now right here, I get the highest volume keywords. And I will take, let's say, anything that is above. Just again, only for the purpose of the video, not to do too much work. I will take only the one with more than 30 sales, which are this one. And as a matter of fact, all of them are well within my ACOS 
Okay, so they are a very, very good starting point for the new PGN. Um, now I'm gonna just copy paste them in the Google Sheet. I'm gonna just pause this. Okay, so I took uh, I took copy pasted all this and cleaned it up. So I put them over here. We have eleven terms that I put in our threshold builder spreadsheet. Uh, once more, uh, there might have been some confusion, so I want to make clear. Uh, I basically initially sorted out by A equals seven, but because there are too many terms for the purposes of the video, what I did was sort down by sales seven and just simply took the eleven terms with the highest. Uh, sales dollar amount and I made sure that they are all within our set ACOS threshold which is 50% and only after uh, they meet those two conditions I copy and pasted them in our threshold builder form. Uh, what I will normally do if it wasn't for video purpose I will sort by ACOS and take everything that is below ACOS. Okay so I put them over here, as you see, this count 11 turns. And the next step is to check what our form tells us. Okay, so because we have only 11 keywords, our daily budget, uh, our advised daily budget will be only about $90. The maximum spend would be about 15.40. Our default bid 1.5, minimum bid 0 0.72, minimum actual click 10%, minimum conversion rate, uh, we should put nine, bid increment 0 0.44, maximum bid 3.47, and daily budget 89, like we discussed, and maximum equals 50. So, Based on the data, historic data that we have, and based on the amount of keywords that we want to start with, which are the highest volume keywords within our threshold, the threshold builder, as an output, gives you this. Now, let's make some reflection. Uh, over here, if you click on any of these boxes, you will be able to see the formula that we used. So, whenever you download it on your drive or on your computer, you will be able to adapted to uh, whatever you think is right. Uh, as a disclaimer, this is a, a quick and dirty thing that I gave you guys to set up threshold quickly. Uh, I don't know your business, I don't know your product, I don't know anything about what you guys are doing. Ultimately, you have a responsibility of whatever number you insert in our tool and whatever number you ask our tool to automate for. So. We have no responsibility if this number don't work for you. This is just something that should help you understand and create a PGN and automate whatever setup you currently have without losing too much time watching over, over, over the videos and reading between the lines. Um, uh, uh, let's analyze this divergence. This divergence acts on, on free thresholds. So whenever you change the divergence, data will change. Okay, so my advice is to keep it 25 because based on my experience and, and looking at my business and my numbers, 25% divergence is what makes sense. So I would expect this to be uh, valid for 90% of the businesses out there. But again, like I said, ultimately you have responsibility to whatever number you input in our system and whatever output that number generates for your business. Okay, so once we have all this data, we have our 11 keyword, we have uh, uh, the output, uh, the thing is very simple. So we go back to Zone 2 platform, we add new, you want to create a new PGN, and I'm going to call it the uh, video, I'm going to in the video, I'm gonna give this name and I'm gonna open the advanced setting and now it's just a matter of copy pasting. So maximum keyword, uh, sorry, what was it? Maximum keyword spend with no sale. I take this one, I just copy and I paste it. Target maximum ACOS 
50% and I'm gonna paste it here. Default bid 1.54 and I'm gonna paste it daily budget 89 and I'm gonna paste it here. Minimum bid is 1.54 paste it here. Maximum bid Sorry, minimum bid wrong one zero point seventy two apologies. Maximum bid is three point forty seven. Put it here. Minimum action clicks. Minimum action click is ten, and it's fine. Bid increment is zero point forty four, and minimum conversion. 9 is advisable and I put 9. That's it. Skew, I will put uh, whatever skew you had, skew 2. Keywords, I will just take the keywords that I put over here. And I will simply save this product group. Okay, and this should work. PGN was successfully created. Now, if you were instead to automate this same campaign, which we worked on on the silicon product, you will do exactly the same. Rather than creating a new PGN, you will go here, you will open the rule box, and you will put the same threshold within, <coughs> sorry, within this campaign in order not to create a new campaign, new PGN, new system, just to automate your current system based on the data. And we can do that for now, so, um, Again, uh, maximum equals you will put 50, minimum clicks 10, stays, maximum keyword spend will be 15.4, minimum bid will be 0 0.72, maximum bid instead of 5, we're going to put 3.47, the increment. 44 minimum conversion rate that was 9 over here okay so and I'm gonna override everything that is inside because we just set a, a, a new reference cache just to be sure I do it and save so right now I show you two things so based on the data that we gathered over the last six months over this fictitious product and fictitious campaign I use that data in order to generate the threshold that we should need, the optimal, the possibly optimal threshold that we should use in order to automate our current setup or to use on a new PGN with this keyword and the uh, related budget. I hope this uh, video helps you uh, understanding a uh, little bit more how I go about uh, and how you should go about using the threshold builder. Uh, choosing the keywords to give to a new PGN and what threshold to use based on your previous data, historic data, either on a new PGN or on your current system if you were to automate it. Um, just the last thing, uh, I wasn't clear about where to find the threshold builder, that will be on www.zone-tools-threshold-builder and you will find our threshold builder for you to download. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll see you next video.